Tbilisi, in some languages still known by its pre-1936 name Tiflis, is the capital and the largest city of Georgia, lying on the banks of the Kura River with a population of approximately 1.5 million people. Tbilisi was founded in the 5th century AD by Waktangai of Iberia, and since then has served as the capital of various Georgian kingdoms and republics. Between 1801 and 1917, then part of the Russian Empire, Tiflis was the seat of the imperial viceroy, governing both southern and northern Caucasus. Because of its location on the crossroads between Europe and Asia, and its proximity to the lucrative Silk Road, throughout history Tbilisi was a point of contention among various global powers. The city's location to this day ensures its position as an important transit route for energy and trade projects. Tbilisi's history is reflected in its architecture, which is a mix of medieval, neoclassical, beaux-arts, art nouveau, Stalinist and the modern structures. Historically, Tbilisi has been home to people of multiple cultural, ethnic, and religious backgrounds. Though it is overwhelmingly Eastern Orthodox Christian, its notable tourist destinations include Cathedral Sameba and Sani, Freedom Square, Rustaveli Avenue and Egmashinabli Avenue, Medieval Narakala Fortress, the Pseudo-Moorish Opera Theatre, and the Georgian National Museum. The climate in Tbilisi mostly ranges from 20 to 32 degrees Celsius in the summer and 7 to minus 1 degree Celsius in the winter. The name Tbilisi derives from Old Georgian Tbilisi was therefore given to the city because of the area's numerous sulfuric hot springs. Until 1936, the name of the city in English and most other languages followed the Persian pronunciation Tiflis, while the Georgian name was Tiplisi. On 17 August 1936, by order of the Soviet leadership, the official Russian names of various cities were changed to more closely match the local language. In addition, the Georgian language form Tiplisi was modernized on the basis of a proposal by Georgian linguists. The ancient Georgian component Tipli, most other languages have subsequently adopted the new name form, but some languages such as Turkish, Persian, Greek, Spanish and German have retained a variation of Tiflis. On 20 September 2006, the Georgian parliament held a ceremony celebrating the 70th anniversary of the renaming. Some of the traditional names of Tbilisi in other languages of the region have different roots. The Ossetian name Kalak as does the historical Kabadian name. Archaeologists discovered evidence of continuous habitation of the Tbilisi suburb of Dighomi since the early Bronze Age, and stone artifacts dating to the Paleolithic Age. During the Late Bronze Age to Early Iron Age, it was the largest settlement in the Caucasus. According to legend, the present-day territory of Tbilisi was covered by forests as late as 458. One widely accepted variant of the Tbilisi foundation myth states that King Waktang I of Iberia went hunting in the heavily wooded region with a falcon. The king's falcon allegedly caught or injured a pheasant during the hunt, after which both birds fell into a nearby hot spring and died from burns. King Waktang became so impressed with the hot springs that he decided to clear the forest and build a city on the location. King Dachi of Iberia, the successor of Waktangai, moved the capital of Iberia from Mitkheta to Tbilisi and began construction of the fortress wall that lined the city's new boundaries. From the 6th century, Tbilisi grew at a steady pace due to the region's strategic location along with important trade and travel routes between Europe and Asia. Tbilisi's favorable trade location, however, did not necessarily bode well for its survival. Located strategically in the heart of the Caucasus between Europe and Asia, Tbilisi became an object of rivalry among the region's various powers such as the Roman Empire, Parthia, Sassanid Persia, Muslim Arabs, the Byzantine Empire, and the Seljuk Turks. The cultural development of the city was somewhat dependent on who ruled the city at various times. Although Tbilisi was fairly cosmopolitan, from 570 to 580, the Persians ruled the city until 627, when Tbilisi was sacked by the Byzantine, Khazar armies and later, in 736 to 738.
Arab armies entered the town under Marwan II. After this point, the Arabs established an emirate centered in Tbilisi. In 764, Tbilisi, still under Arab control, was once again sacked by the Khazars. In 853, the armies of Arab leader Bugha al Turki invaded Tbilisi in order to enforce its return to Abbasid. Allegiance The Arab domination of Tbilisi continued until about 1050. In 1068, the city was once again sacked, only this time by the Seljuk Turks under Sultan Alp Aslan. In 1121, after heavy fighting with the Seljuks, the troops of the King of Georgia David IV of Georgia besieged Tbilisi, which ended in 1122 and as a result David moved his residence from Kutaisi to Tbilisi, making it the capital of a unified Georgian state and